Sticky notes are useful when you want to jot down a quick thought or an important bit of information that you don't want to forget. Like when someone mentions an interesting book that you want to look up later, or when you're on a call with customer service and you need to take down the call reference number. You can take this sort of information on a physical sticky note or even in your notebook. But the advantage of using digital format is obvious. You can retrieve the info when you need it, no matter where you are. You can of course use your digital note taking app like OneNote or Evernote for something like this, but I personally don't like to clutter up my notebooks with fleeting or temporary notes. This is where Windows sticky notes can come in handy. It's quick to access, both from your desktop and your mobile devices, and the fact that it's not a full feature program makes it simple to use with little to no learning curve. The notes are accessible in several ways. From the desktop, you can access your notes from the Windows Sticky Note app, Outlook for Desktop, and Outlook for Web. For the first and my preferred option, you can type Sticky Notes in the Windows Search field and launch the app. This should be installed already as part of Windows, but if you don't have it, you can download it from the Microsoft App Store. When you launch the app, you'll see the notes list, and depending on your last setting before you exited the app, you may also see some active sticky notes as well. You can create a new note by clicking on the plus sign at the top left of the notes list window. Once the new sticky note opens, you can start typing your notes. You do have the option for basic text formatting below, as well as the option to add images. You can resize the sticky notes as well. In the notes menu, you can change the color of the sticky note, go back to the notes list, or delete the current note. If you have other notes you want to create, you can just hit the plus sign here as well. Closing the note will save it. Here's a list of shortcuts you might find helpful when working with the notes. Control W to close the current note. Control D to delete the current note. Control H to open the notes list. If you want to have these notes always visible to serve as a constant reminder, you can apply always on top. You will need to have Power Toys installed for this, and I made a video about this which you can check out in the card above. Back to the notes list, your notes are arranged by modified date with the most recent note appearing on top. Click on any note to open it, and if you want to search for a specific note, you can type in the keyword in the search bar. If you go to the settings by hitting the gear icon, you'll see more options. Most notably, you have the option to enable insights. It uses the Cortana engine for content recognition and offers dynamic help with content such as dates, phone numbers, addresses, etc. But in my experience, I haven't been able to get it to work consistently. And again, I think the main appeal of using the sticky notes is it's no frill simplicity, so I don't bother with insights and leave it turned off. If you want to access sticky notes quickly, it makes sense to pin it to the start bar. That way, you can use the context menu to create a note or review existing ones. So another way you can access sticky notes from a computer is from your Outlook on the web. You should see a folder in the navigation pane for notes. Clicking on it will display the notes list and you can select a note to view and edit. You have the same formatting options as well as the ability to add pictures. And of course, in the settings menu, you can change the sticky note color, copy content to clipboard and delete the note. If you want to create a new note from here, you can click on this button on top. And lastly, you can access your notes from the desktop version of Outlook. At the bottom of the navigation pane, hit the three dots, then select notes. By default, the notes are displayed in icon view. You can double click to open. The Outlook desktop version only shows you the plain text from the notes. It does not show text formatting and it doesn't show the attached pictures. If you want to view your notes in a list view, click on notes list. You can also view notes created in the last seven days only. Of course, you can create new notes from here as well. 
In the desktop version, you're not able to change the note color or insert pictures. However, you can forward the note to others via email, which you can't do using either the Sticky Notes app or the Outlook web version. Okay, now let's move on to the iPhone. On an iPhone, Sticky Notes is integrated into OneNote. Launch OneNote and choose Sticky Notes on the bottom left. You'll see the list of notes. Click on the plus icon to create a new note where you can start typing your notes. Click on the camera icon if you want to add a picture. You can choose an existing photo from the library or take a new picture. If you click on the three dots, you can choose the color of your sticky notes or you can delete it. And you also have the share button so you can share the notes using any of the numerous applications and methods you have. You can search for your notes by clicking on the search icon and typing in your keywords. Notice that when you start typing, you're given the option to search either the OneNote notebooks or the sticky notes. Synchronization of notes between the different apps happens mostly in real time except for the desktop version of Outlook. Here you may have to manually sync in order for contents to be updated. All in all, this is just one of many tools we have available to help us remember important bits of information. If you're a Windows user and a OneNote user and want a simple companion tool to jot down quick notes, Sticky Notes could be perfect for you. If you're interested in a more robust to-do application to help you remember all your tasks, check out this video next on Microsoft To-Do. Thanks and see you in the next video.